Hey everyone, Meredith Dale here, co-founder of Intentional Marketer University. So our video for today is talking about creating your own traffic paradise. Now I'm going to try and keep this as succinct as possible because I have been known to chatter on for a while. So I'm going to be referencing my notes and you can always find more information about this at goimu.com. Uh, if you want to read any more about this and uh, for all of you guys who are intentional marketer university um, members so if you're the monthly member you can go in and access all of our courses um, and find all of your traffic guides and resources there as well if you're not a member yet and this is something that sounds like you might be interested in I do have a link right below this video so you can click on that as well um, and see what our monthly membership gives you um, so let me go ahead and reference my notes here. Creating your own traffic par uh, paradise is exactly that. It's a paradise. Now, in inside of Intentional Marketer University, we have talked about traffic in forums and where to find customers at. We've also talked a lot about what not to do. But for this video, we're going to give you more in-depth strategies on how to drive traffic from the internet to a location of your choosing, and it's going to be preferably your website or your blog. Your business is your own, and there will be no other person working as hard as you are to drive traffic from any and every source. You are the one who has to be the most creative in your business to find new locations of traffic. You only have one chance to make your business everything that it can be, and this means you must use every day as an opportunity to get as much traffic and attention as you can. So this video is all about targeting influencers to get that attention. We're going to give you some proven campaigns plus several different marketing methods which you can copy and paste to use in your business. That's over at goimu.com with the blog post that will accompany this video. So the number one thing you can do is you can send free samples to your Instagram influencers. For a while, Instagram was completely overlooked for the power it has as, as an e-commerce marketing channel. That's changed uh, in the last six months. It's changed a lot. But with this strategy, sending samples to Instagram influencers, this is what no one is doing. Everyone is still trying to spam on Instagram right now. So you're going to be leagues and leagues ahead of everyone else. Instagram is going to give you 25% more engagement than any other social platform. And from our own experience on Instagram, we find that it generates more leads and questions than Google+, Twitter, Facebook, and Pinterest. So not only are Instagrammers more receptive when done right, it is a great method to drive traffic back to your blog or website, which is our end goal. Now throw in the mix throw into the mix the ability to target influencers and you're going to see a sharp rise in your business traffic. So let's get started. For my example right now, I'm going to imagine that I want to sell health and wellness products online. So how do I get attention to my blog and to my products? I'm going to start by looking at popular accounts on Instagram that would consider featuring my products to their thousands and thousands of followers. Now where do I go to find these popular accounts? First, I would visit Webster, W-E-B-S-T-A dot com. Webster lists the most popular Instagram hashtags and users. So simply by typing in wellness into the search bar, I'm going to get to see the most popular related hashtags as well as users who have wellness in their username or in their bio. It's absolutely brilliant. So I'll just look into their bio when I find a couple of these uh, uh, influencers. Now, influencers we consider to be anyone with like 10,000 or more followers. I'm going to look on their website. Or I'm going to look on their Instagram page first, excuse me, and see if they give me a link to their blog. Then I'm going to click on it and find their blog. When I go to their blog, I'm going to look for contact information, their own contact information. Not where I have to put in my information and get something for free, but I actually want to find a physical address or some other way to contact them to see if they're interested in getting a sample of my product. This also works for creative business owners. If you create anything, you can always send freebies to people in the mail or any other way to get it to them. 
I would want to check for popular pages which contain photos that are trending and have thousands of likes. I want to look for photos related to my industry, look for additional contact sources and ways to get in touch. This is all what I would do on their Instagram page. And then if a popular account has contact information such as an email address, it usually means what I just said, that they are open to product placements or partnership opportunities. Now, when it comes to reaching out, it's really important to be strategic about this because not every Instagram user with a lot of followers is willing to feature products from their users. Instead, go over what I just talked about. If they have a lot of contact information, and some might even say, I'm open to product placement, then you're going to want to reach out to them. Remember, this is going to be a synergistic relationship. So they want to get more followers because they do product placement and they do product reviews. This works really well on YouTube as well. And you benefit because if they decide to feature your product, then you're in front of their thousands and thousands of followers. Now you can also drive traffic and create your own traffic paradise by reaching out to bloggers. When you're creating a traffic paradise, you have to be open to thousands of other people that you can get in front of their audience. So this is bloggers and vloggers with a V, video bloggers. Now depending on who you locate, the size of their audience can be thousands or hundreds of thousands. Reaching out to them is similar to making contact with social media influencers. Begin by simply looking for influential bloggers or vloggers on Google. You can also go to a site such as Feedly.com and look for sources of trending blog material. Find the most popular blogs in your industry and then reach out to them using the information that I just detailed. Look for contact information. Make sure that your products are in line with something that they would be interesting, interested in talking about and go from there. Sometimes the best strategy for, for finding bloggers and video bloggers, vloggers, is to not look, not to go after the people who have hundreds and thousands of followers. Start by people who maybe have an audience of 5,000 people, okay? Because you're still getting in front of 5,000 people and they're definitely looking to grow their blog. They want to be in the hundreds of thousands of followers. So they're actively looking to grow their blog as well. You guys can have that synergistic relationship. To create more traffic, this is another strategy. You can post your website to Reddit. Most of the internet has hung out on Reddit at least once. In addition to its main page, which groups the most popular content, it also, have th it also has thousands of sub-reddits, which are called... <laughs> It also has thousands of niches, which are called subreddits. There I go. <laughs> so find your subreddit on nearly any subject. Uh, for example, we're using wellness. So there is a subreddit of wellness, and there's a subreddit for health. Definitely check out all of the threads in there, and they're going to give you great insight into what can help build your business. You can also browse um, the subreddit Entrepreneur, and all of these are going to have subscribers. So when you go in there, you're going to find interesting strategies and discussions on how you can grow your business, all right? So go in there, and really you need to use Reddit as a um, as an information tool. So look and see what other people are doing to grow their traffic. You're not going to um, necessarily just go on there and say, hey, come to my website because that's going to get you banned. You're going to look for topics and conversations and interesting back and forth relationships that are going on and then become a part of that. And when you do, that's going to become um, a nice relationship where you can casually then talk about your website. Uh, the next uh, strategy that I have is get friends and family to share. This is obvious, especially if you're in direct sales. If you're still strongly interested in using Facebook to promote your online business, there is a way that you can get away with it and not come off as hyper aggressive. You can easily get away with sharing your information about your online business. Now, notice here, I did not say an online party or an online promotion, or a home business, you are just starting an online business. People don't launch 
businesses too frequently. So when you use strategic wording, as in I'm launching an online business, you can still come across as quite novel within your circle of friends who want to see you succeed at your own business. Make sure when you do this on Facebook that you're not saying, I'm launching my own business as a presenter for Unique or I'm launching my own business as um, you know a, a Beachbody coach. Leave your company name completely out of it. Because that's not novel. Everybody has seen that done on Facebook. What is novel is that if you've given yourself a website, a blog, um, we teach you how to do that inside of Intentional Marketer University as well. We've got some, um, we've got some recommendations for how to do that. So if you haven't done that yet, go ahead and do that. But that's how you come across on Facebook. You say, you know what, this is my own blog, my own website. It's meredithdale.com or andevito.com or yourname.com or whatever you want to give it, .com, your business name. And then come on Facebook and say that you're launching your own online business. Now here's some, here's some guidelines. There are correct ways for talking to your family and friends. Don't focus on getting them to buy your products. Offer them products for free. Ask them to share your business address, and this is why you need your own website or blog with their networks, and only ask for this favor once. <laughs> you will have a good rate of success and sufficient momentum to keep a regular stream of customers by only asking for this once, and that's it. And then just let your posting on Facebook go how it will, but only do this once and you won't get banned <laughs> and hated by everybody. My last piece of advice on creating your traffic paradise is write a blog post featuring people with audiences and send it to them. Remember that a person's name is to that person the sweetest and most important sound in any language. And that's a quote by Dale Carnegie. People love themselves, and that's really good. You can create traffic back to your blog or your website by playing on this fact, by using it to your advantage. You have to go back to basics and reach out to people with large audiences, and bloggers are those people. But you may not be able to afford to swing out free products and samples to all of these hundreds of bloggers, but you can still get traffic. Write a blog post about that blogger. Okay, maybe it is a blog post that lists five influential bloggers in your industry. Name their names, give their blog addresses, uh, talk about them, build them up, and then send it to them via email, if you can find their contact information, or blast it out via Twitter. Do it multiple times a day. You know, I think Anne said she does up to 20 times a day on Twitter. She's blasting out information. And instead of waiting for them to feature you by sending out a sample, you feature them first. You're still looking for the influencers at influencers in your industry and you're going to write up the top people you find and turn that into a blog post talking about all of the ways that they have made your industry amazing and wonderful. So that is some really, really simple strategies. I could keep going forever, but like I said, I like to keep the videos um, kind of succinct. So I want you guys to go back and visit goimu.com. This blog post will be published shortly, but you can find loads of other um, resources that we've, we've written to help you with traffic. Put into place just one of these strategies. And if you need any help, uh, starting your own website or uh, you know finding out how to use Twitter maybe you haven't done Twitter before I don't know whatever you need help with we have over 40 different resources inside of Intentional Marketer University so check us out there you know if, if a monthly membership is something that intrigues you and you could really put it to good use learning everything you need to, to know to build your business go check it out um, I will see you later have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.